Alright lads, some of you wanted the Ratatoska overview, so I'm coming through for you guys. There won't be a gameplay ending to these little bits anymore, as I'll be releasing full ranked games of the gods the same week as I release the overviews, to give you a real idea of how the god should be played instead of just cock teasing you. Also, depending on how this video is received in comparison to my future more gameplay based videos, they may be phased out, so let me know what it is you want to see more of. But enough of that, I'm blabbering on as much as our hot topic of today. This god has some real nuts, and is basically the biggest shit stirrer in the Norse mythos. Hello everyone, and welcome to a little bit of Ratatoska. Now there isn't actually much information behind this tiny little squirrel, but he is, in essence, a messenger. He's not a messenger of the gods like Hermes in Greek mythology, but he's a messenger between two beings that live around Yggdrasil, the world tree. These two beings are an eagle, who is actually never named at all throughout Norse mythology, which is super mysterious, and a serpent, Nidog. Not much is known about either of these two beings, except that Nidog is said to gnaw at the roots of Yggdrasil, as if he's trapped in the roots themselves. Both the eagle and the serpent have an ancient quarrel, which may have long been forgotten had Ratatoska not relayed their messages over the years. Ratatoska is said to enjoy the drama and runs up and down the world tree just to chat shit about these two beings and relay insults. I'm sure that could be fun at first, but after a few millennia, surely that would become a bit tedious. Gotta respect the hustle though. Ratatoska has a really good set of abilities, allowing him to be super mobile whilst being able to dish out a fair amount of CC. His first is a basic dash which slows enemies when hit. The dash will finish on the god that's hit or at the end of the dash's range. His second is a kind of whirlpool effect that shreds protections. This is really good for shredding tanks and also for clearing waves. With his third, he throws three acorns, and if a god is hit with all three, they are stunned. His ultimate, whilst taking a while to cast, allows him to move semi-globally on the world tree's branches and also packs a pretty huge punch. It's a great escape or a great initiator, but be careful as he's vulnerable to attacks whilst he prepares to make his first jump. Now, you're probably thinking that I forgot to mention Ratatoska's passive. However, as his passive swaps out his option for buying boots to allow him to buy one of four acorn options, I decided to include this in the build section. Now, each acorn has different stats, and they're all pretty good. They're kind of clear set to allow Ratatoska to utilize different roles and either become more tanky or go for high power or crit damage. Without going into too much detail, and because I don't want to bore you all, this is the breakdown. The first acorn is for the solo roll, and it's great for sustain. The second acorn is for a more tanky roll, and it's great for stealing protections. The third acorn is great for crit, and adds power to your dash. And the last acorn lets you throw 5 acorns instead of 3 with your acorn blast, and also debuffs the enemy so you do more damage with your abilities. The rest of Ratatoska's build relies heavily on what role you're playing and what acorn you initially buy. I like to play Ratatoska solo lane, so I go Evergreen, Devara's Gauntlet, and then some protections and possibly Cat Shield for the extra heal. Combos for Ratatoska are pretty basic. You can either dash in, stun with the third, and shred with the second, or save the dash and ult in. The opposite works too with dashing in and escaping with the ult. He's super versatile, so it's a case of learning when to use abilities in what situations. My tip for Ratatoska is this. He can be built incredibly tanky while still hitting a fair amount of damage, and he can heal so much with the combination of Warrior Shield, Evergreen Acorn, Devara's Gauntlet, and Cad Shield. Like, a truly ridiculous amount of healing. But if you're looking for a more hard hitting build, crit is amazing with rat, as is pure power, and bruiser builds also work. Going up against a Ratatoska, you never really know what to expect. Now this may be my final one of this style of video, as I'm wanting to delve into more gameplay related content. The first of which will be my 1v1 Ratatoska battle against Professor Ratatoska himself. If you like this style of video, let me know in the comments and I'll try and do one a week. However, I'm going to start releasing videos of me playing each god in a conquest, both in their desired roles and in any other roles I see them having potential in. And yes, this includes Chak Jungle. To see all this exciting new stuff, 
smash that subscribe button, and not to bribe you, but every time I get to a milestone amount of subs, I'll be doing a gem giveaway to the most liked comment. But for now, I simply hope you all enjoyed this little bit of Ratatoska.